welcome to my youtube channel india gate this is nani sharma and in this session of c programming language we talk about very important and most important questions with related gate exam so if you not watch my previous lecture means part 5 of the c programming so please firstly watch it because there is discuss various important points which is help to better understand this session otherwise you can continue so before starting of this session if you want new gate tips and tricks so please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for all notification of my latest videos so now now let's get start so first question of this session is here giving the line of code and we found the output of the programs and here is four option option a two option b three option c four and option d five now come to the solution of this program so here we are starting from void mean function because we know that the void mean is the mean function now in the void mean function here giving the character pointer x equal to a b c and character pointer y equal to d e f so we easily detect that the length of x is 3 and the length of the character y is 5 now here calling the print length function now we come to the print length function declaration so after the defining here print length a uh, function as character pointer s and character pointer y as x and y respectively so we come to the next line of code here and signed int c equal to 0 and we know that and signed data type is always positive and here given int length equal to string s minus string t length is greater than c means here using of the ternary operator if this operator is true operation is true then first is going to be execute else second is going to be executed and last is print the length of the as the output of this program so we know that the length and string length as equal to 3 because x s is representing your x and x is equal to 3 and similarly t is representing you y and y is equal to 5 now ternary operator is given like 3 minus 5 is greater than 0 because here c equal to 0 now we got minus 2 is greater than 0 but we know that here there is using of the only positive integer means it uh, c is your unsigned integer as the l we say that first condition is going to be true and second is going to be false because the important point here is while the comparing minus 2 with c resulted will be a positive number as c is unsigned so output of these two is the string len s will be printed means string len s equal to 3 so answer is your option b is correct now come to the next question here line of code is given like a void print x y parameter int x and int y and here declaring the integer pointer and x equal to 0 and here point is the pointer is address of x and y equal to pointer ptr and pointer ptr equal to 1 then print the value of x and y and here the output of the print x comma y is 1 comma 1 is what means there is four option option a 0 comma 0 option b 0 comma 1 option c 1 comma 0 and option d 1 comma 
1. Now come to the solution of this question here. Firstly, come to the here functions is like given like x is initialized means print ptr point is point of value of x equal to 0. Yeah, of course, because here y has the pointed to the ptr x equal to 0. Now it is going to like this. Now here y is equal to pointer ptr means value pointed by the ptr is set to 1 so it is going to be 1 means x equal to 1 and here pointer ptr is equal to 1 means x is changed to 1 and y will be written remaining 0 so the object for this given program is option c 1 comma 0 now come to the next question here this now come to the third question. Here line of code is given and we found only the output of the given program. So there are four options. Option A is 1, option B is 2, option C is 4 and option D equal to 6. Now come to the solution of this program. So here C is pointing this string and this string is easily to define as like array structure. And here character pointer P is pointing to C. Means P is going to point C array a string. Now we print the value string length C plus 2 P minus 6 P minus 1. So we know that here AI Now we know that AI is equal to IA. So now simplify this expression like this. Now we got here C plus P2 minus P6 minus 1. Now P2 is pointing to the second character of the pointer c which is t and as well p6 is your i minus 1 now after the putting the sky value of t and i and we know that the sky value of the uppercase alphabet is representing from 65 to 90 so the sky value of the t is 84 and i is 73 so basis of the putting this values we got this expression and we got c plus 10 which is representing to you this expression and now we found only the length of the this expression so we got only the right answer is 2 so option b is your correct answer and in the fourth question we get the output of the programs like options are 0 1 2 and 3 so come to the solution of the programs like here given like increment and post increment waste questions so in the case of the pre increment we firstly change the value of the given operator and then use but in the post increment firstly we use then change the values so come to the program here and equal to plus plus m means we firstly change the value because here increment is pre manner so basis of the pre increment we firstly change the value so here n equal to 11 and m is also going to be 11 and now next is m1 is equal to m plus plus so firstly here m is going to be remaining same but m is going to be 12 and n decrement and pre increment n1 so basis of this we got n equal to 10 and n1 is also equal to 10 and here n minus equal to n1 so we get here n equal to n minus 
n1 so here 10 minus 10 is is going to be 0 and print the value of n means the answer is your 0 so option a is your correct answer now so here fifth question is given like a line of code is given here and what will be the printed by the program so options are a 12 b 120 and 00 c 1204 and d 1034 now if we come to the solution of this program so here program is given like int main and character s17 means it is going to 1 2 3 4 and others remaining 3 is going to be null means we represent like s1 like 1 2 3 4 and other is going to be slash 0 means it's going to be representing null values and here p is pointing to the variable s1 plus 2 means p hold the address of the character and pointer p is equal to 0 means memory at the s1 plus 3 now becomes 0 so here the character of s1 plus 2 is going to be 3 and this pointer is going to be remaining changes into the become 0 means 3 is changed to 0 integer then print the value of s means all the character are printed so what is the value so basically we firstly found the values of the like 1 2 0 and 4 they are also using another method like we know that p is equal to array plus cost into size of one element of the array so this uh, just uh, consider the the size of the array and is 1 because here using of the integer types and putting the address of the s1 like 100 then we got here totally p is equal to s1 plus 2 means 100 plus 2 into size of one array means we got 102 so 102 is representing the, the what is the address of the s1 second element that is your third now this is at that memory we got s1 plus is now becomes the zero so we get here output like one two zero and four so option c is your correct answer now sixth question is how many five times sum will be printed so here line of code is given like int mean float sum equal to 0 z equal to 1.0 and i equal to 2.0 while i divide by j is greater than 0 0.062 then j equal to j plus plus and sum equal to sum plus i by j and print the value of this sum and return 0 so this question is going to be lengthy but step is very simple now come to the first step when sum equal to 0 j equal to 1 and i equal to 2.0 now firstly check the condition here while means 2 divide 1 means i divide j is greater than 0 .0 0.0.6 so it is true so here j is going to be 0 or uh, 1.0 plus 1.0 is going to be 2.0 and sum is going to be 1 by 2 now next iteration the sum is going to be 1.2 means 0 0.5 j is going to be 2.5 and i remaining c now again we check the condition while loop is satisfied or not so it is satisfied because 1 is greater than 0 0.0625 and now g is going to be 4.0 and sum is going to be 1.5 now again we check 
the third iteration where all the condition is given and here when we putting the third iteration we got after the checking the third condition we get here j condition is going to be true and j is going to be increment and sum is also going to be increment like 1.2.1.250 now check the fourth iteration and what is will be the condition for this so when we got the fourth operation fourth iteration so we get here the value of the two divide eight and the while loop is going to be true so here the value of j is increment and sum is also going to be increment now the value of sum is like 1.075 and j is going to be this now at the fifth iteration we got here the while loop 1 0 point <laughs> 0625 is not satisfied and therefore we got that at the sixth iteration here the sum is going to be not equal to so the printed value only the 50 times means the answer of this question is going to be sum equal to 1.0.7 this is your answer now there is another sorting method that is we know that i divide j is greater than 0 0.0.5 so when we putting the values like i is 2 because i is constant in remaining all the process and we getting here then we got to divide 0 0.0.26 is greater than value of j and after the solving this equation we got j is less than 32 means j is less than 2 to power of 5 so answer is your 5 times now so in the next question that is your question number 7 we get here total number of the iteration like example and giving the parameters into x and into y and returning the value of the x and in the mean function we get here the total number of iteration is logged and y is calling to jumble function and x is also calling to jumble function and at the end we return the value of the x now come to the solution of this question that we start from the main function now here we get int is equal to 2 and y equal to 5 and here y is calling to jumble y comma x now when we firstly call here so we got that here y is resembling to the x and x is resembling to the y means representing of the x and y and uh, variable is interchanging each other so after the calling of here so we got the values like uh, x equal to 2.2 into x plus y so when we call this uh, we get here x equal to 2 and solving the value expression like x equal to going to be 12 and y equal to going to be 12. So first iteration we get 12 comma 12 and returning value it is means it is also going to be 12. Now in the second time x is calling the symbol function where y and x is given but here y is remaining 2 means y is can't going to be changed and x is going to be 12 so when we putting the value on here again so we get here our y equal to 2 and x equal to going to be 12 comma 2 now so 
after solving this equation we get x equal to 26 and y going to be remaining same means y is going to be 12 so output of this program is 2 comma 12 and 26 comma 12 by the calling the function x and y now come to the next question that is your character basis so it is very good question so here character in care equal to a switch case is uh, remaining used on their side so, so basis of the switch case here uh, case is a b c d and e and uh, there is no using of the break statement because we know that break statement is optional so what will be printed uh, in this program so there is no break statement in the case a if a case is executed and it does not contain break then all these sequential cases are executed until a break statement is found that is why everything is inside the switch is printed okay so there are four option option a no choice option b choice a option c choice a choice b no choice and option d program given no output means error so here option c is correct now come to the next question it is very good question has included story dot h void main float a into pointer ptr and ptr equal to a percent a so this in this question and in this program we contains error because we know that the variable pointer variable always point to the variable same data types but here the data type is going to be different it means it is going to be float and pointer is going to be int so it is not giving the correct output means it gives the error that is type mismatch data type mismatching now come to the next question here has include studio dot h int main here int x equal to five elements one two three four and five elements is given and here it a pointer is given which is point to the address of the x element and their point uh, basis of the pointer we print this some pointer expressions like this now come to the solution of this question so firstly we assign x as like 1 2 3 4 5 and the address value is 1000 1000 to 1004 1006 and 1008 and indexing is going to be 0 1 2 3 4 basis of the error indexing now we know that the pointer is pointing to the address of the x second variable so x second variable value place is your 104 address which is equal to 3 so basis of this array structure we found the all the printed values so firstly print the value of pointer PTR. So pointer PTR is pointing to the 1004 address of the x element. So here it is going to be equal to 3. So first is it is printed 3 and second it is printed 20 plus 1 means 3 plus 1 is, is going to 4 and here PTR minus 1 means 3 minus 1 is also going to be 2. So output of this program is 3 4 2 now come to the next question here we using of the some tricks to remaining all the question which is uh, basically we already discussed the some uh, important points and tricks in previous session which is really valuable in this session also so first question is given here 
has include studio dot h int main int a equal to twenty and two times terminate and print the percentile d a and again it is terminated and written zero so what will be the correct answer so here four options option a twenty option b error option c semicolon twenty and option d semicolon twenty only now we know that the terminator statement and no expression statement is available here so this is a null statement has no side effect here has no error is occurred so we easily say that the value of a that is printed the value that is your option a is the correct answer now come to the next question that is your 12th question in this question giving the some line of the codes int main int a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and c equal to 3 and int d equal to 0 if a b c d now you have to consider this uh, statement on their side here if a comma b comma c comma d is given like this then print exam okay and there is four options option a no output no error option b exam option c runtime error and option d compile time error so we know that in if statement any condition becomes zero means here we know that d equal to zero so any condition is becomes zero so if a statement not satisfied and there is no error in the program and output is also not display and no error so option a is your correct statement and other we say the print statement will be not executed as if condition written false so option a is your correct answer now come to the next question int mean int n comma i equal to 5 n equal to plus plus i minus minus semicolon print the value of n comma i so what will be output of this program so here 4 output 3 4 4 4 4 5 and 5 5 so basics of the giving the options firstly here giving the plus plus i means the plus plus i is going to be equal to plus and i is decremented so the value of the i is going to be 4 means firstly it is 4, 5 after the decrement it is going to becomes 4 and the value of n is going to be what 5 because here using of the n is equal to n plus i and the value of i minus minus the basis of the value of the given here we got 5 4 as the output now come to the next question has included studio dot h int main int array equal to 5 only and int i for loop is also given here which is basis of the i equal to 0 in slice basis of i equal to 0 the condition is given i is less than equal to 2 and uh, increment the values print the array i and return the value so what is the output of the given program so we had uh, given programs have the options <coughs> So there is the four option. Option A five garbage garbage. Option B five zero zero. Option C five none none. And option D compiler error. So 
come to the solution of this question so here array is specify only the five so we do uh, we know that when we only one element is given so other element we going to be consider null null is representing your integer value like your zero zero because here array is defined in the integer so we found array three equal to five comma zero comma zero now Another we say that the storage class of the array which initializes the element of the array at the time of the declaration is static. So default initial value of the static integer is 0. So option B is your correct answer. Now come to the next question. So here line of code is given like has include story dot h int mean ptr print pointer value 5. So we easily use for the logic on their side only. Firstly here the value of the pointer is giving directly 5 which is not right means it is you wrong because we can't be initialize the pointer variable and pointer variable is can't be initialized hence it produce runtime error so it the answer of this question is runtime error now come to the next question in this uh, line of code and uh, this is also similar to the given line of code and in the above question we get like a ptr is equal to 5 so it is also produced the runtime error now but in the case of the here we get here into a equal to 36 and ptr pointer ptr equal to address of a and print the value of star a percent ptr and a percent star ptr so what is the value and what is the output of this program so in the previous lecture we discussed that when we star and a percent together so we know that these two are the cancel each other so basically the expression is given which is printed as is ptr comma ptr and pointer is going to be assigned what is the the value of the a means it is pro provide the output like 36 comma 36 which is your correct answer now come to the next question here we discuss about the if condition and here basis of the is if condition we are using not one here using of the two conditions means if x is greater than 2 2 is greater than 1 then what will be the value and what is the output of this program so firstly we consider that x is greater than 2 means 3 is greater than 2 so this is true means true is going to be 1 then we get here if 1 is greater than 1 it is going to be false means when the if condition is going to be false then else condition is printed means private 3 is your correct answer now come to the next question void man int a equal to 3 b equal to print plus plus a into b plus 1 so here in the given the printed statement is not giving the any output because it gives the compile time error because we know that increment and decrement operator is not work with the expression so the output is your compile time error now now this question is going to be too much long so all the other questions is continue in the next session so thank you for watching if you have any doubt so please comment me